Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy 60th birthday, Dad. We hope you have a good night tonight. We just wanted to um, put a little video together to show you how much people love you and how special you are. Um, so let's start off by saying our favourite memory. Oh, I'll start. My favourite memory is that every time you would come home from work, you would bring something special for us, whether it was little raspberry lollies or keychains or something like that. You would always have something special. We were so excited for you to get home just so you could give us something. <laughs> What's your favourite memory? I can't remember. There's a lot. Uh, that first time we got on the piss together and you uh, demolished my toilet. Oh. The walls and all. Uh, oh. Yeah, that was pretty funny. That was gross. Um, yeah. <laughs> like the fact that you're a straight shooter. You give your uh, own shirt off your own back to anyone. Mm. You know, it's good. Mm. I agree. And I think um, one of the best things about you is that you is just so willing to help everyone around you and um, I'm learning a lot from you every single day. Anyway, have a good day, enjoy the rest of the video and we love you lots. Mwah. Go. How's it going Steve? So, we're doing the video. So, I can't remember my first meeting with you, but I'll go with an early memory, which is us in what I think I remember was a Datsun, cruising across Boulder Road, moving from our King Street home to what I have to assume was the Travasca Street house. But early memory, probably wrong. My favourite memory was when we were four-wheel driving through the hills in Kalgoorlie, and uh, he decided it was a good idea at a certain point to turn all the lights off. And, and uh, from my memory of it, kept on driving for a little while, pulled up and turned the lights on to find that we're right on a cliff's edge. Good times, good times. I'll pass you on now to your second son. G'day, Uncle Steve. How are you, mate? Happy birthday. I was trying to think first memory and um, what springs to mind is the Midas Hotel. Yourself and Dales were running it and we're in the restaurant and you pulled us aside and said, boys, come over here. And you just hired um, one of the best looking girls in high school, Courtney Brame, to, to do the dishes or whatever it was. And you said, I've hired here. I've hired her here to give Jacko half a chance, but he's bloody useless. And we said, welcome to our life, Steve. <laughs> Great memories, and I'll hand over to your third son now. Hey, Steve. Um, I guess uh, I, I come on the scene a little bit later with the friendship group with uh, Sam Sam and Berger. Um, but, uh, yeah, definitely something I'll never regret is becoming friends with Jacko because uh, we've got to meet you, of course. Order um, definitely... <laughs> the uh, <laughs> the seed special has got a spring to mind, um, and I think it, it, it came into its own on the the Belfour Street house. Although I do remember many time at the basketball stadium as well, and uh, that famous photo that all us boys have together on the stairs. So uh, I think that's a, a pretty famous and a special photo for us boys to, to treasure for the rest of our lives. So thanks for being a part of mine and. Um, Happy birthday. Yeah. I'll pass it on to your favourite daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, it's your daughter-in-law, in the future anyway. I remember, of course, the first time we met was when I met Jackson, when I walked up to you lot at the pub at the Royal. <laughs> and, of course, my favourite memory of you is when you were surprised that I was drinking beers and nothing else. So it's been a pleasure to know you and to know you for a lot longer. And now I will take a lovely selfie of all of us. Are you ready? Cheers, everybody. Happy 60th Eve. Yeah, g'day, Steve. Me again. Look, there was a bit of a mix-up in the group uh, footage where... 
I thought we were going to do the first memory, then the favourite, and they never handed it back to me. So I'm here to now tell you my favourite memory. There's actually three. I'll, I'll go through them quickly, and no doubt it'll get cut if you need to. But memory one. I used to come down to Kalgoorlie and, and work uh, in the mines, and I'd stay at yours. And it was pretty intensive, so me and Jacko used to have some nodos to caffeine pills. And I'll never forget when you found the nodos. And it was like we were doing crack cocaine, heroin. It was a full sit down. Got in a lot of trouble, so pretty much never, never had a no do again. Um, the second memory, it, it's got to be the seed special. Uh, you used to make the, the bacon, the capsicum, the onion, the most delicious breakfast ever. And um, since then, I've moved to Perth and it's been rebranded the Sam Special. So don't tell anyone you're the original offer, but I'll, I'll always have you to thank for that. And look, the third memory is when my now wife Lorraine first met you. It was a good food and wine festival. And I said Stephen Dahls are popping in to say hello and, and we walked out the front and there he was. And Lorraine said, what's he wearing? And there's Steve Cole. He's got a Richmond Tigers jersey on. He's got Richmond Tigers footy shorts on. He's got Richmond Tiger socks on pulled up to his knees. And he's got Richmond Tigers. I don't even know they sold these. Some kind of shoes or slippers on. And poor Dolls has been roped into the whole thing as well. And she's in full Richmond Tigers. And she said, is this normal? And I said, no. But that's uh, Steve Cole and we wouldn't have them any other way. So happy birthday, mate. You're an absolute legend. Love you to pieces, and yeah, really looking forward to celebrating the big day with you. Happy birthday, mate. Steve. Steve. <laughs> just saying, <laughs> just saying I was the 23rd of December today, which is Festivus, so... Uh, Happy Festivus, as well as happy birthday. Happy Festivus. Happy 60th, Ankh. Happy 60th, mate. Hope it's a good day and a good weekend for you. Sorry we couldn't be there. Very proud of the way you've done, though. Yeah. Going well with the pub, and as I said, wish we could have been there to have a, a beer with you for your 60th. Would have been good, but who knows? We might catch up one day. We're all uh, getting closer to that retirement age. We might end up over there in our caravans. Who knows? Mm. And we won't tell any stories because that'll go on for hours, as you know. Yeah, we, and they're so. not all they're not all good stories, but <laughs> we'll keep them to ourselves at this stage. <laughs> I think you know some of the ones we could tell. Anyway, we'll see you later. Yeah, Have mate. a good day. Cheers. Happy birthday. See you. Come to pre recorded. And so actually you don't go back too far because you really respect the people that you Oh, Steve, is it? Yes, I'm here oh, to sorry. interview you guys. Yes. So, first question, we'll start with you, Mum, the favourite. Yes, that'd be me. Okay. Oh, well, I thought I was. No, I was clearly the favourite. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Where did you meet? Um, I was about five days old. <laughs> <laughs> when Mum brought Mum and Dad brought me home from the adoption centre. Okay, Robert. Uh, yeah, it's t two days old. <laughs> Yeah, I can remember him when I was two days old. Yeah. When? Um, when he was about 15, I met him for the first time. Did you like At him? the cara caravan place wow. park at East Devonport. Oh, that's a nice meeting ground. <laughs> yeah. What do you love about him? Um, mm. Mm. Tough one, that. Mm. Well, we'll yeah, what do you... I'm, I'm trying to think. I've got to get back to me on that one. When? Um, get back yeah, to you. I'll get back to you. All right, we'll, yeah. go, we'll go to the next question. Mm -hmm. Proudest memory? Proudest memory. Um, Do you need to think about that as well? I think I need to think about that one too. Robert? Mm, I'm stumped on that one. <laughs> Lynn? Yeah. All right, we'll go back to the second question. What do you love about him? Fuck. Um... <laughs> got nothing really. <laughs> Rob, um, <laughs> you can't pass. Yeah, yeah, I'll pass. Lynn, and um, 
Skoro <laughs> uh, You're going to take up the whole video yeah. and no one else is going to get to play. Yeah, next question. We'll get back to that, that. That's pretty much it. Proudest memory. Embarrassing. Oh, the embarrassing. Oh, God, where do we start there? Well, it's proudest, <laughs> did, but okay. Did we mention about when he shit, him, shit himself? Oh, school? I thought that was Robert. Was that no, Stephen, Stephen oh, made Stephen. out that it was Robert because oh. he was embarrassed because he shit himself up till he was 14. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I thought wet, he the wet the bed. Wet the bed. No, wet, wet the bed, bed till he was about 18. Oh. And I, I took himself. people 38, but yeah, it was 18. Yeah, no, be reasonable. 18. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So this, was, this is a proud memory? No. Yeah, for us it would have been. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, all right. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. good. So back to what do you love about him? Oh. Just even if you have to... Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> um, I suppose he's a good brother. Oh, yeah, great brother. He stabbed me. <laughs> and shot you. No, his mate shot me, but I'm pretty sure Stephen put him up to it. And stature. Yeah, and uh, Hang on, we were throwing flying saucers and he got a bit of tin. And threw it Threw that and stuck in the back of his leg. And he nearly burnt, yeah. burnt us to back, the right. ground. Yeah, 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 yeah. He nearly killed a lot of us actually. Yeah. Does that come under proud or embarrassing? Mm. Mm, probably proud for him. Who put the mm. cat in the microwave? Stephen. 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 He did all that sort of thing. Mm. Okay. And his dog and... All our cats. I'm going to have to put a warning content on the start of this. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Best off not to let him near animals. They were feral though, so they had to be dealt with. Some of them were pets. All right, well, we need to wrap this up. Feral pets. Otherwise, we'll be here all night. What about what you did in the mouse plague back in Donald? I've got an idea. Let's say something nice and wish oh, happy so, 60th. Yeah, happy 60th, Stevie. We love, we do love you. <laughs> Oh, it's just on me now. It's not all <laughs> <of> you. <laughs> Happy 60th, Stephen. Wish I could be there, but I can't. <laughs> I have got one. Oh, hang on, here's something. When we were growing up as children, we had this height thing going, because we are both mm. fairly tall kids, and there was only ever a quarter of an inch to half an inch between us, and every six months we'd get measured, Dad would measure us, and as soon as Dad's back was turned, Stephen says, so, see, I fucking told you so. <laughs> well, this went on year after year after year. Anyway, we moved to Tasmania, and uh, I was about six foot one, Stephen was about six foot one and a half, and he moved away for work. And in that 12 months, I went from six foot one to six foot eight and a half. And when he come back and seen me for, for the first time since then, I bet you can guess what I said to him. <laughs> see, I fucking told you so. <laughs> Six foot four. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Happy little brother. <laughs> Absolute nightmare. Um, just want to wish you a happy 60th. You've um, always been the one for me. So, from the age of 13, I knew, but guess it took a long time for us to end up together and when I look back now I just think yeah we complement each other and yeah what can you say a lot of history so enjoy your 60th I hope um, it's one that's memorable among all the other stuff happening love you Stephen Cup. Hey, Freddie here, mate. How you going? Hey, year of the Ruse, mate. How's yeah, the carks and sorting us out this time? We'll be right. Yep. Um, Richmond's had theirs. Kangaroos next, that's for sure. Yeah, well, that's 60 years, mate. Happy birthday. Um, hope you have a good one. See, has sorted all this stuff out for you. So, yeah, good girl in there. Um, yeah, George is... Uh, Big day coming up too, so yeah, that's amazing. And uh, the non-hairy boy, Jackson. Um, yeah, can't get used to him not having hair. And there, yeah, Darlene. Yeah, she looked after you all this time. So you've done well there, mate. Happy birthday, and yeah, good on you. Hi, Uncle Stephen. Where did we meet? 
pretty confident to say I was a newborn baby and you become my uncle. Uh, what do I love about you? Your sense of humour and you're a little bit strange. Proudest memory. Mm, I have more embarrassing memories than proud ones, but when we're in the McDonald's drive through as a child, there was an overweight person that walked in and you rolled down your window and yelled out some horrendous things. That was pretty embarrassing. Favourite memories, when we'd all get together and you guys would talk about your Donald life, like the Donald stories and how it took you like five years to get to school every morning because you had to trek the mountains and was it Uncle Robert that pissed himself or shit himself or was it you? One of yours. Um, but yeah, happy 60th. Sorry I couldn't be there. <laughs> Love you. Steve, how are you mate? Hope you have a great birthday. I uh, don't know much about your tastes in football teams, but your taste in the people you surround yourself with and your wonderful family are right up there, mate. So, good on you. Fortunately, can't have everything, Richmond, but yeah, have a good one, mate. Bye. Hi, Steve. I think it was about 18 years ago now that I started working for you and Darlene at the Amalfi Hotel in Kalgoorlie. I um, still, to this day, you are up there with one of the best bosses that I've ever had the privilege of working for. I think my favourite memory of you is actually you being my boss. Um, you know, the support and guidance that you and Darlene both gave me through a really difficult time in my late teenage years. Um, I could never thank you enough for it. Happy 60th birthday. I hope you have a wonderful day filled with lots of family and friends and laughter and good times um, and beer, of course, and hopefully see you soon. Right, I'm being asked to give a five minute video on Steve Cole. Um, now, I met Steve in grade six. Um, and when we got to high school, we ended up in a class called English B. And that's where I got to know Stephen from English B. I don't know if he ever graduated, but anyway. Um, yeah, my best memory was uh, when I gave him the best hip and shoulder I ever given anybody to knock him out of the way of the test bowl down the MCG. Um, yeah, wishing you well, mate. I hope you have a great day and uh, uh, all the best. Hey, Uncle Steve, the big 60, hey? Well, it's a good knock, mate. Plenty more runs left in you yet. So just a couple of memories of the young days, mate, for me. Used to go to the footy oval when I was a young tacker and sit on the fence, watching you um, take a few big marks and kicking some goals for the Devonport Blues back then. And then it was the Bernie Hawks. Um, and then we rolled on to, used to work for you at the old fruit and veggie market there in William Street. From memory, I think you used to get some cheap pallets of bananas, but we better talk about that privately. So, no, have a great 60th, mate. Wish I could have been there for you. Um, hopefully I'll get to catch up with you soon in the near future. So, have a great night. Happy 60th birthday from your 40-year-old daughter. Hope it doesn't make you feel too old. Have a great day. And we'll hopefully see you next year. Happy birthday. Happy 60th birthday, old boy. Hope you have a fantastic day and all the best and we'll hopefully see you soon. Go Panthers! Happy Waitangi Day, big boy. And a happy birthday to you too. 60 years old. That's a good one, eh? Anyway, hope you have a great night. A lot of celebrating for you and your family. Hope to see you soon and um, enjoy yourself. Steve, just want to wish you a happy 60th birthday. Sorry we can't be there this time. We were at your 50th birthday, which I believe was also a surprise. So I hope you have a great time this time. Yeah, same, same for me, mate. Um, um, thanks to Brenton for introducing us to you guys. Um, and uh, he... Uh, was working with you and then uh, we got introduced and we went further afield than that where you were in a position to uh, put some word out in the community so I could get a job over there. And six years later, when we departed Cowboy, I have to thank you very much for that, mate. So it was uh, quite an experience. And uh, not just in 
um, the job aspect it was when you uh, entertained us in Jabaroo and uh, we had a lot of fun there with you guys and especially when we went out to Chaos Crossing and watching um, the backpacker fishermen trying to catch the barramundi with the crocs chasing the barramundi as they were standing in the water. So, uh, yeah, it was quite an experience. Thanks, mate. Yeah, sorry we can't be there, but um, I'm sure we'll have a great time and we look forward to catching up with you next time we're in Kalgoorlie or Canberra or whatever. Yeah, somewhere. <laughs> have a great day, Steve. Yeah, all the best, mate. Have a good one. Steve Cole. Mm, oh, <laughs> what can you say about Steve Gull that hasn't already been said? He, he didn't mind a cup of coffee or cold beer. <sighs> he loves the Richmond Tigers and has an uncanny knack of being able to spontaneously combust a barbecue at a moment's notice. All the very best for your birthday, Steve. Happy 60th from all of the Ace Clan. That's a big aerial. I first met Steve a bit over 16 years ago now when I started working with Darlene at the Oasis in Kalgoorlie. He quickly started calling me Taz when we realised we're practically related from Tassie. Uh, I've since called him Stevie Wonder. He bleeds black and yellow just like my dad did, which, you know, instantly just drew me to him as well um the rest is history wishing you the best 60th birthday ever wish i was there have a great night hey steve i'd like to wish you a very very happy 60th birthday and hope all your dreams and wishes come true all the best for the future and many more birthdays to come have a great night see ya how you going? Uh, my name's Steve O'Connor. Swanee is my nickname. Um, I first met Steve at uh, Roy Hill. Um, he was the one of the supervisors at Roy Hill and I just started off as a loader operator there. Um, I remember that we were starting on HVR1, the road there that we were doing up to the up to the plant and um, out to Zulu. So that was the first time I met Steve. Um, what I love about him is that he's a straight shooter. Uh, always knew where I stood with him. Um, yeah, my favourite memory with you, Steve, is um, when we were riding our motorcycles up the back of the hills up there and uh, went out and saw Brocky's uh, place where we passed. And um, yeah, great times. And we, then we'd finish off at the pubs and have a couple of drinks before we rode home and that time that we rode out with our partners as well that was good and up to Mundaring um, over the lake, um, the dam up there which is awesome um, yeah mate so yeah you, you turn 60 in March great stuff uh, I don't do that till November but um, yeah you have a great birthday mate and um, all the best and uh, yeah hopefully I get to see you at the pub that you, you and Darlene run but um, all the best, Steve. Happy birthday. Happy 60th. Happy birthday. Big 6 How exciting. Um, hope you have a great birthday. I've been trying to think where we met and I can't remember because I reckon I was too little. But I just remember when you guys lived in Tassie and just wanting to come to your house. I reckon I used to ask mum, can we go visit Darl and Steve? Because it was just fun to be around you guys. And um, yeah, it's just always fun times. Um, that's how I remember it. And um, not so fun times was driving past Maccas in your van and you used to yell out the top of your lungs that it was gonna kill them. And I used to be horrified and wanna hide in, your, in the back. Um, oh my God, but I just hope you have a really special 60th, um, wish we could be there. I feel really lucky that I did get to live in Kalgoorlie near you guys and work for you guys. That's really special to me. Um, thanks for some really fun memories. Have a great birthday and only this once, go the Tigers. Happy birthday. 
Happy 60th birthday, Harry Oz. Have a good one, mate. Happy 60th, Steve. From Coles Beach in Tassie, mate. Hey, Steve, again. Yeah, mate, fond memories from our cricket days. Um, my memories are killing cats in a van <laughs> or run over people. Um, and we're trying to make several of these to annoy you like you annoy everyone else. <laughs> What's that mean? Yeah. Take five. <laughs> I think we used to hang out at the gym a bit together, mate, too, over at, uh, was it East Stavenport? Yeah, Templars. Templars. That's it. Mm. What was my memory? Oh, when you dropped the kids at school and honking the horn like, beep, 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 Sarah! <laughs> Hi, Steve. Um, first met you when you came to town and started uh, the hotel. Uh, your first problem was cats, so we came and gave you a hand with that. That was interesting um, and it's been really great to see you make this town a happier place and we are all so grateful for you um, being a big part of the town. Happy 60th birthday and I hope your celebrations are magic. Happy, Happy 60th, 60th birthday, birthday Steve. Steve. Hope it's a great one mate. Okay, I hope you have the best time, Stu. Wish we could be with you guys. I'm sure you'll have a great night. Cambauda will be rocking. <laughs> yeah, miss our uh, Cambauda coffees. I wish I had those. Oh, we miss you guys too. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, have a great one, mate. That's good. Yeah, happy birthday, Steve. Do you reckon that um, that was sort of genuine? Like, we don't really like you. No, I don't like you. Yeah. Do you reckon that it's genuine? Are you still rolling? Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, happy birthday, oh, mate. We love you. Love See ya. You. G'day Steve, how are you mate? Mervyn Hughes here. Um, as you know, really good friends of Colin Karen. They tell me it's your 60th birthday, you're a cricket lover. God love you. With any luck, the Australians can give you a happy birthday in this test match and knock uh, the Indians over. Um, but hope you're having a, well, hope you have a great day. Hope you have a great 60th birthday and uh, hope to get over and do that night at your pub sometime. Good on you Steve, have a great 60th mate. Cheers. G'day cuz, Jamal here from Coles Beach. Happy 60th birthday. I like your videos and everything up there at the pub. Seems everything's going well for you. Hope you have a good birthday. Can't believe us Coles will make it to 60. That'll be me next year. Anyway, have a good one. And uh, all the best for everything. And 60, eh? As the major would say, fancy that. 3, 2, 1, action. 60th old man. Woo! <laughs> Happy birthday, you kind man. <laughs> Happy birthday, you miserable old git. <laughs> Happy birthday to the best cunt around. <laughs> Happy birthday, Steve! <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Steve. Have a great day. Uh, hi Uncle Stephen, uh, just wanting to wish you a very happy 60th birthday. Uh, sorry I can't be there, but uh, definitely enjoy yourself, uh, surrounded by all your wonderful family and friends. Cheers. Hi Brother Stephen, just wanted to wish you a very happy 60th birthday. Sorry I couldn't be there to jump out of the cake. They actually couldn't make one big enough, truth be known. But anyway, have a wonderful night. I'm, few, I'm sure there will be a few surprises, but I won't be one of them. You'll have Robert, Jubilee, Joe and Gary there representing all of us back here in Tassie. Hope to see you soon. Lots of love. Enjoy your night. Bye for now. Hey Steve, just wishing you a happy birthday, hope you have a top day, and uh, yeah, we'll catch up sometime for a beer. Cheers from all the salmons, right? G'day Uncle Steve, hope you have a great 60th mate. Sorry I couldn't make it, but you know, someone's got to stay back here and cause trouble when you're not here. Hope to see you sometime soon. Uh, morning, 
and happy birthday to you, Uncle the V's. Of course, that's what I'll always know you by. 44 years of friendship with Ad Coley, and, and although our lives have taken a different path, we've always been great mates. So, um, you know, go, we'll go back to some wonderful times we had, you know, as night riders. And, of course, it all started with us playing footy and, of course, our uh, notorious fishing trips together. Uh, yeah, they were great days, mate. And look, since then, our lives have taken different paths. But as I said, we've uh, maintained a great friendship. So I've always been a part of the Cole family, uh, whether we liked it or not. Mum, your dear old mum said that to me the month before she passed away. Spud, you've always been a Cole. So I guess I have, mate. And uh, I guess I always will be in some way. So anyway, mate, have a great birthday. Uh, enjoy the day. Don't get too drunk. And uh, hopefully I'll see you soon. And uh, go Cats. Hi Steve, happy birthday. I can't believe you're only 60. Uh, I haven't seen you for a while. I think the last time I saw you was uh, not long before COVID. Um, I was sitting at work in reception here at the Gateway in Tassie and I heard a laugh that I hadn't heard in a long time and then I heard it again and I thought, I know that laugh. So I got up and went into the restaurant and there you were still the same loud laughy Steve that I remember from gosh nearly 20 years ago maybe in Kalgoorlie um, I hadn't seen you for such a long time before that but it was great to see you and hopefully uh, when you come back down to Tassie next time we can catch up for a latte or whatever it is that you drink these days um, anyway happy birthday um, I think of you and Darlene quite a bit and I miss you both so have a great night and hopefully we will see each other again soon happy birthday happy birthday pop hope you have a good day don't go drinking too much I love you we'll go see you soon happy birthday pop love you have a great day happy, happy 60th <laughs> happy, happy 60th, 60th Steve. Happy 60th. <laughs> Uh, Amy, thank you. Thank you, Amy. Go. Happy, Happy 60th, Steve. Stephen. We enjoy, really enjoy catching up with you whenever we can, and our kids love it too. Uh, looking forward to cracking a can with you very soon. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, old boy. Hey, Steve. Happy birthday. Hope you're having a cracky night. Um, big 6-0. Should be a great night anyway. I hope you have a few frothies. Um, hopefully I'll see you over here in Victoria soon. But I know that's probably doubtful because the Tigers are not looking so good. So they probably won't be over here in a grand final for a while. Anyway, if you want to come down, watch the Cats. Um, you're always welcome over here in Melbourne. And if I'm over in the West, I'll drop in and have a beer. Enjoy the night. Cheers, mate. Hey there, Steve-o. Tomo, mate. Uh, happy birthday. Um, uh, 60, mate. You're in the 60s club. You can say I'm in my 60s now, which I can't, so I'm, I'm a little bit upset about that. Mate, have a great night. I'm sure you're surrounded by all your family and friends. Uh, I wish I was there, um, and I do apologise I'm not there. Um, uh, it's been great to get to know you. Um, you're a good man, good bloke, and uh, y you know, you're know you heading in the right direction in all parts of your life. And uh, especially with those mighty Tigers. Go the Tigers! 2023! Surprise! Uh, wishing you a very happy birthday, Stephen. 60 years. Shit, where's all that gone? Uh, that just means you're old. Um, have a great night with all your family and your friends. Um, yeah. Stay happy, stay healthy. Hi Steve, just wishing you a very happy 60th birthday. We all get there at some stage. Um, some of us age better than others, I'm not saying which is which. I um, hope you have a great night and sorry we couldn't be there, but we'll catch up later in the year. Okay, bye. G'day Steve, um, happy 60th birthday. Sorry we couldn't be there. Um, look forward to getting over to the West again one day and and uh, catching up. Um, I was supposed to do this video with uh, Craig and Victoria earlier on this week, but uh, we forgot to do it, so I apologise for that, seeing Craig's not on, on Facebook. And uh, yeah, we're only about a week off 60 ourselves. So yeah, all the very best. Hope you have a great party. And uh, yeah, cheers, mate. Bye.